Hey, how is everyone? I hope you're doing okay. Today's video is going to be slightly different. Well, not that different. <laughs> it's still going to be me drawing and talking, but instead of art tips, I'm going to be reading out and I guess reacting to some replies to a Twitter post I made in which I asked other artists what their worst experiences were when selling their art. As great as selling your work can be, I think everyone at some point experiences an awkward or downright awful commissioner. So I thought it'd make a good topic for a video and I'm sure some of you will be able to relate to some of the comments mentioned in this video. Personally, I've been fairly lucky since I started going self-employed. Um, most of my commissioners have been lovely including the commissioner this piece that you can see me drawing was for um the user is riders block on instagram uh i will of course not be mentioning any usernames um of anyone from the twitter post uh, <laughs> yeah so i guess without further ado uh, on to the first worst experience comment <laughs> this happens a lot to me I finish commissions and such, send it over, then the next day they file a false refund and I'm in the negatives. Or they file false refunds without telling me who they are, so I have to pause all commissions and try to figure out who it was. Oh my god. People who do chargebacks or false refunds after the art is finished, like you are literally the worst. Like, go away, get in the bin, please. Don't do that, that's like theft essentially because you're not you've got work and you haven't actually paid for it because you take the money back yeah that's horrible i'm sorry <laughs> that, that happens to you especially if it happens a lot that's not good um and people filing for three funds and not telling you who they are like the fact they're not speaking to you means obviously they don't have a legitimate reason like obviously sometimes stuff happens if an artist hasn't started, maybe you need a refund for something and you absolutely can't get the money any other way, like, yeah, I can kind of understand asking for a refund, like, you know, if you go to them and actually ask nicely and explain why, but if they're not even giving you a reason or telling you who they are, like, they obviously don't have a reason, they just regret buying, I don't know, or they want the money for something else, but yeah, like, I don't know if you do use invoices already, but definitely... Anyone who takes commissions, I really recommend using invoices and being really specific, like, with your terms of service and stating that no physical goods are going to be sent when you write out the invoice. Like, PayPal is pretty awful for seller protection when it comes to digital stuff anyway, but invoices can help a little bit. And then, like, make a note of the invoice ID or the transaction number so that, like, I make a note of mine on my like Trello on the to-do list um so that it's easy to find a transaction like whose it is if something does happen and you don't have to go scrolling around for like their email address or whatever but yeah I mean no that's horrible I'm sorry that happens to you <laughs> uh the next comment has a trigger warning for self-harm mention just by the way <laughs> There was this one time where the commissioner suddenly started talking about how they hurt themselves and other personal stuff. Because I didn't know what to say, I just listened and insisted that maybe seeing a psychologist would help. But then they guilt tripped me, saying that I didn't help at all and made them feel worse. Even though we've never met before, they expected me to be a friend and feel sorry for them. Okay, um... I mean, I can understand sometimes if you've literally got no one else to talk to, you might just, like bear your heart to a stranger I got or I don't know like obviously if the commissioner felt they had nobody else to talk to that's sad that's really sad but at the same time like you have to take other people into account a bit when you're venting like if it's somebody you don't know or an artist you've literally only spoken to from like a business point of view it's probably not appropriate to vent to them <laughs> especially without asking first if it's okay like you don't know if maybe like self-harm is a like trigger for them I'd... <laughs> and, like surely it's better to maybe like make a public post on your account and ask if anyone is up for talking that you can vent to rather than just offloading onto a stranger 
like thankfully I've never had anything quite like that or uh, I've had like milder instances where commissioners start like a really personal conversation and it's kind of awkward like you don't really know what to say so I mean like it sounds like you did the right thing of listening and suggesting they seek professional help like it must have been quite a stressful situation for you if I'm being totally honest though the fact that they then went and said you weren't helpful and made them feel worse which is like a pretty horrible thing to say to someone who's trying to help you anyway like that suggests to me maybe they were just like playing the sympathy card and trying to get free art or something and then got annoyed when you actually tried to help instead of giving them free stuff but i don't know i might be wrong about that that's just the vibe i get off it <laughs> had someone offer one point on a custom lined adopt on a small ref then when i told them i wouldn't take that they offered five points yeah deviant art has a lot to answer for when it comes to undervaluing art uh for anyone who doesn't use da a hundred points on there is one dollar so yeah one point is nothing essentially <laughs> um back when i joined da which was over 11 years ago now i think uh that is essentially what people sold their art for um certainly i spent a lot of time in my early years of doing art commissions like literally selling art for like 15 points uh and i remember selling an adoptable once for like a thousand points and being ecstatic thinking that that was a lot but it was literally like ten dollars so <laughs> um yeah uh, i think things have improved a little bit on there i guess since they allowed you to convert points to paypal but to be honest I mean, even now, there does seem to still be a massive problem with people undervaluing art on there. And I think the point system has a lot to do with that. Um, yeah, everybody's, and I do mean everybody's, art is worth more than one point or five points. Um, I feel like even if the person didn't know the conversion rate between points and actual money... Like, maybe they thought they were offering or the equivalent of a dollar. That's still majorly lowballing. <laughs> Don't lowball people. It's not good. Uh, art is a luxury. Uh, it's not a necessity. It takes skill. And that's definitely something worth keeping in mind when you're buying or selling art. Just saying. <laughs> Just after taking it, an hour later, asking if I've made progress on it. <laughs> Yes, because artists are machines and do nothing but sit and make art all day long. And yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Give people time to actually do anything. You really want something that's done that quickly anyway? Like, if you've paid for it, surely you want the person to have spent a bit of time doing it? Really? Like, come on, please. <laughs> Don't rush people. More than a couple of times I've been approached with the comments that my work isn't worth what I'm charging and I should just offer it for free or else no one will want it. Those opinions hit right in the imposter syndrome. Okay, firstly, like as I just said in the other comment, your art is worth more than nothing. Like you should absolutely be charging for your art. It shouldn't be free. Um... <laughs> I don't know if the person who left this comment is going to see this video, but in case they do, um, I went and looked at your art after I read the comment, and it's great. It's fine. Like, it's absolutely worth what you're charging, and probably anyone who says that is just jealous. Um, and more importantly, they don't deserve your art. <laughs> like, they're probably, like, the same sort of person as the person who offered, like, a point they'd offer basically nothing and then if you did accept their commission they'd be the most awkward person like after you'd finished want changes and then still tell you it wasn't good enough <laughs> um honestly your art is worth what you're charging um the only thing that isn't worth anything is those people's opinions <laughs> don't listen to them being asked to change part of your style for the com after they've seen the finished version and decide that something about your style makes the character look wrong instead of saying anything beforehand. Um, like, presumably 
they looked at your art before they commissioned you so like they would have some idea how your style might affect how the character looked and like why would you commission someone if you didn't like how their style made your character look like <laughs> or if it looks really different from what you're expecting why would you not ask for changes before they'd finished it like what <laughs> why would you that's just being problematic for the sake of it isn't it i don't know <laughs> like some artist styles are gonna change how your character looks a bit um or well, for certain characters anyway like unless you're commissioning like if every time you're commissioning someone with a similar art style yeah the character will look fairly consistent but if you're commissioning someone with a completely different art style obviously they're gonna make the character look different is that not part of like the fun of commissioning different people i don't know <laughs> like i feel like they were just looking for an excuse to try and get a refund because i don't see why you would wait until after it finished to make changes like honestly that's like why i have in my terms of service that i won't make changes after a sketch unless i like make a mistake on my character obviously but if it's just them wanting change like no i would advise that certainly after it's like fully finished don't be making changes unless you've made a mistake like that's not yeah because then you're just doing a load more work for their own mistake of not saying in the beginning what they want to change i don't know <laughs> yeah i'm sorry that that happened to you that must have been frustrating <laughs> Guy bought an OC from me for $500, traded it, then did a chargeback so I was left with no OC and no money. Another situation was where I decided to cancel the sale midway through and was going to refund it and the buyer literally went full on, that's illegal, I'll sue you, on me. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the first part of that, about the guy buying a character and then doing a chargeback after trading it, that happened to me and I'm 99% sure it's the same person because the person who commented this is someone like I'm a mutual with and have been for a while and I remember when this happened because the guy who did it did loads of chargebacks at once and there was like a whole bunch of us who like made journals on DeviantArt about it and we're trying to get the money back and stuff so I'm pretty sure this is the same guy that did it to me um like that dude literally stole like thousands of dollars altogether I think um it was over a hundred dollars he stole from me and then there was like uh a really popular artist they took a load of money from as well and there's some other people i think but yeah i think paypal sided with him on like all the chargebacks because you know paypal um even though like in my case i'd actually sent him some physical artwork of the character so i did have proof that i'd actually sold something to him <laughs> like legitimately he'd given me his address and stuff like i don't yeah <laughs> Um, and then none of us could get the characters back because he traded them all. And like, oh, a few years later, I actually found the character again that he'd traded. It belonged to my friend, but I didn't want to ask them for it back because like, it's not their fault. But yeah. Oh, and he closed all his accounts like the day after he did the chargebacks and just disappeared. Um, I mean, good riddance, but honestly, like, Oh, he was awful. That's such a horrible thing to do to people. And like, oh my god. Like, it's bad enough for me that it was like a bit over $100, whatever the, the OC was. But like a $500 OC to lose that and and the money? Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that. <laughs> um. Anyway, the other part of the comment... Um, the person was gonna sue you i mean if it was refunded that's not really illegal is it i don't like there's nothing to there's no case there because you have the money back <laughs> like what are they gonna sue you for i guess breach of contract because you didn't go through that but like even so is the court really gonna be that worried about like you had the money back what's the issue like yeah it's a shame when you don't get art or a character that you were excited about getting i get that but things happen sometimes artists can't finish 
the artwork for you know personal reasons and they have to refund you you could always use the money to go and commission someone else or buy something else or save it and commission them again in the future don't like <laughs> like don't jump into trying to sue people i mean and obviously you're not anyway it's an empty threat like you're really gonna sue somebody over that it's gonna be more trouble for you to try and sue them than just accept the money back <laughs> Oh, people are so dramatic, aren't they? Some people just go over the top about stuff. <laughs> Chill. And don't don't steal people's OCs either. Like, don't do that. Don't steal money, don't steal characters, don't steal in general, obviously. But, like, oh. Yeah. That guy was the worst. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Didn't need to remember. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to do, like, one more fairly quick comment and then call it a day because I expect this video is quite long already and I don't want it to be like too long <laughs> so yeah one worded response is k or a thumbs up emoji when I send works in progress <laughs> yeah I mean that is annoying I've had similar things happen to me and I get that not everyone's good at writing long replies to people like it can make them anxious and if they've already paid you the money they don't owe you like a big long reply but certainly when you're sending like sketches and stuff it's you want to know for certain that they actually like the sketch um because you know, every artist wants to give the commissioner something they're actually happy with not just something they're like mm, not bothered about or that's actually wrong and not what they wanted so like if you are really happy with a sketch like make it obvious don't just i don't know say k or whatever like it makes it seem like you're not bothered about it about it and so i think if it's me like i forget short responses for sketches or, or for finished pieces it makes me feel like oh my god they don't like it oh i didn't do it good enough there are unhappy like we don't want you to feel unhappy at the end of your commission like I don't know just like yeah reassure your artist people <laughs> even if you say sorry I'm not great at replies but I really do like it like something like that's fine but you know just something to bear in mind I guess when you're replying to an artist so yeah I'm gonna leave this video there now um I don't think I even got through half the comments that are on the twitter post so i might do a second video like this sometime because well personally i really enjoyed making this video actually um so if you liked listening to it watching it like let me know leave a thumbs up or whatever um yeah and i'll try and make a part two uh obviously if you didn't like it then feel free to tell me that or dislike the video and then maybe i won't or maybe i will because like i said i enjoyed it so maybe i'll just do it anyway <laughs> uh, um yeah i think it was nice to do something a little bit different anyway um i hope you all have a lovely week and are staying safe and hope any artwork you're doing is going well or will go well or don't have any awkward commissioners, <laughs> all of you who are taking commissions right now. I hope you have a problem-free week. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for any feedback. Um, see you soon. <laughs>